Hello traders and welcome to Wesley Forex Academy, the beginner's blog. This is a new YouTube channel with the aim of educating lots of upcoming traders who are still finding it difficult in the forex market. We are going to be providing with secrets and tutorials on how to trade, trading signals, trading strategy and reliable trading system for free. So if you've not subscribed to this channel, please go down now and click the subscribe button. Also like this video, turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we upload new videos. Alright, so straight to today's um, topic. Today I'll be showing you a 10 minute strategy you can use to scalp boom and crash comfortably using your PC. A 10 minute strategy you can use to scalp boom and crash comfortably without the fear of being hit by any spike. Alright, so before I go on to that, in case after the video you have any question to ask me, or you feel you're confused and then you really want to confirm something, or you just have something to ask at all. You can contact me using my phone number. You can also tag me up on WhatsApp. You can send me a mail using my Gmail. And also, do not forget to join my Telegram channel. This is it here. And the link will also be in the description box below. Alright, so straight to our MP5. Now, this is what the strategy looks like. This strategy works only on... Um, this strategy works only for boom and crash for now. Yeah, you use this strategy to trade boom and crash comfortably. You scalp your market without fear of being hit by any spike. As far as you follow the conditions, which I am going to tell you right now. First of all, let me go to the settings of this strategy. We are going to be looking up for um, moving averages and also spike detector is an indicator. We're going to be using moving averages and spike detector. All right, so you can see uh, my first moving average here is moving average 200 exponential. I'm going to open that and see. Um, indicator list. So this is our spike detector. Then um, we're going to be making use of moving average 200 exponential applied to open. This more sticker apply to open, then you click OK. Then you add moving average to your PC method exponential apply to open style blue to jail as a choice. Click OK. Then the last moving average is to your nine method exponential and apply to open. Then the color green, print green. Then you click OK, and then you are done. So this is what your chart is going to look like. First of all. Um, I made this video on how to use it on your mobile phone. In case you've not watched it, you can just check my videos. You're gonna see it, how you can trade it this using your mobile phone. All right, so we are gonna be looking out for moving average crossovers. So we're gonna be looking out for crossover, and these crossovers, we are looking out for crossovers of the 50 EMA and the 9 EMA. That is my 50 exponential moving average and 9 exponential moving average. We are going to be looking for where the crossover. All right, so this 200 EMA now, the red one you're seeing, the red one over here, that's my crosshair. This, this um, EMA you're seeing over here, it serves as a, as a dynamic support and resistance, whereby market, when the market is below the 200 EMA, when the price, when the price, like when this candle, that is what we call the price, like when the cap, when the candle, we call them the price so when the candles are below the 200 EMA we look for more sales you can see how the market is selling massively below the 200 EMA you can see it you can see all these sales you can see all the sales once the market is below the 200 EMA we're going to be looking out for more sales because it means the bears are in control when the market is below the 200 EMA the bears are in control and when the market is above the 200 EMA that means the bulls are in control. You can see the spikes that came out when the market went above the 200 EMA. You can see the spikes. You can see all this. Look at the kind of spikes that came. Meaning the bulls took control of the market. You can see it. So immediately the market went above the 200 EMA. It means the bulls are trying to get control of the market. So all right, now conditions to take a sell because this is boom 1000. We are going to be trading the six conditions to take a sell 
using this strategy. First of all, you look out that your market is below the 200 EME, meaning that the bears are in control of the market. Make sure that, that your chart is below the 200 EME. Come in. Make sure that the market is below the 200 EME. Then you look for moving average crossover. You can, you can take a look at this place now. And see. Um, see, we had a crossover here. Um, you can see this box here. We had a crossover. Let me make that more thicker so you can see. Okay. Make this like this. Okay. Yeah, good. So you can see the moving average crossing over here when it is below the 200 EME. You can see the 200 EME above the market. Meaning that the bears are in control of the market at this time. So we're going to be looking for moving average crossover when the market is below, when the price is below the 200 EME. You can see it here, the price is below this 200 EME, and then we had a crossover. So our entry now is going to be after we see a clear and a perfect crossover, just like this one over here, just like this crossover here. So when we see the market has crossed over successfully, then we're going to enter on this candle, and then we scalp. 7 to 10 candles, you can see, this is 9, 10. So we are going to be going out before we reach the next support level. So our entry is going to be here, and then we're going to take 7 to 10 candles, take 10 candles here, and then we scalp, we go out of the market. We go out of the market before this support level over here. This is what you're going to do now. On the 1,000 pairs, we take 7 to 10 candles, but on the 500 pairs, we take just five candles. What I mean to say is that on boom 1000 and slash 1000, we take seven to ten candles. But when you go to the crash 500 and boom 500, you scalp just five candles using this strategy. All right, so let me let us look for more opportunities. Look for more opportunities. Um, let's see. All right, this is another opportunity here. As you can see, the market crossed over. The market crossed over here, and also it is below the moving average because this is boom 1000. The market crossed over below the moving average, so our entry will be here. Our entry will be somewhere here. Then you can take seven to ten candles. Take seven to ten candles. So we're going out probably somewhere here. So that's probably somewhere here. So this is how the strategy works. It's easy and simple. No fear of spikes. All right, look at this place now. The market came from down, it spiked, and then crossed the 200 EME, and then started going down, 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 down. And then it went below the 200 EME. It gave us, it gave us a crossover over here. So our entry now will be somewhere here. And then we take 7 to 10 candles. This is six, seven, ten candles. As far as this spike happens, and then it doesn't cross the 50 EME, you can hold your position and then you recover your profit, recover your profit, and then you, you can exit somewhere here. Meaning you got your 10 candles. 10 candles, I think, somewhere here or so. Somewhere here. Even with this spike, it didn't really put you in loss. It didn't put you in loss. Just took you back to your entry. So, you can see in the market and then milk this out. Let's look for, for another opportunity. Uh-huh, perfect, I like this. You see, we had a crossover here, but this entry is invalid. We are not taking this entry. This entry is invalid. We are not taking this entry. We are not taking this entry. Why? Because the market is above the 200 EME, you can see it. This is boom 1000, this is my 200 EME here. The market is above it. Though we crossed over, but we are not entering the market. Why? Because we expect the bulls to be in control. 
you can see all this, you can see all these crossovers. They are all invalid. You enter at your own risk. Uh -huh, you can see here, it crossed over, but it didn't reach five sandals step. It didn't even reach um, up to 10 sandals, and then it spiked. Why? Because the market is still above the 200 EMA. You can see here. You can see here, it didn't reach um, seven sandals or 10 sandals, and then it spiked up. Why? Because the market is above the 200 EMA, and the bulls are in control. Including this also crossed over, but this is an invalid entry. So we wait for invalid entry. We wait till all our conditions are met. Then we scalp the market peacefully without fear of spike. We can check out this position again. We check out this place again. We check out this place again. You see, this is another entry point. So we're going to enter here. Um, entry is going to be here. And then we scalp 10 candles. You see? 10 candles. So let's assume now you use, that's my calculator. Let's assume you use five lot size. You use five dollar lot size, so that's 5.00. And then, and then you trade times 10. Okay, boom, 1,000 and give you 2.5 per candle. So, 2.5, 2.5 per candle multiplied by 10 candles. 10 candles. So, you see, you're going to be getting $25 on each trade. $25 on each trade. So, if you do this four times, you are getting, you are getting um, $100. Wow, is this not amazing? This is so amazing, man. See, um, you use um 2.5. Use 2.5 dollars per candle to get 25 dollars after 10 candles. That is five dollar lot size. Boom, the 1,000 pesos will give you 2.50 per candle, and then you get you get um 2.50 cents. Two dollar fifty cents per candle times ten. That gives twenty five dollars. When you do this four times, meaning you take four different trees every day, you're going to make hundred dollars. Even if that is all you do for that day, is enough. Making hundred dollars is enough for you, depending on what your daily target is and your account size actually. So you make hundred dollars four positions. You can try to make three hundred a day, make five hundred a day, but it's always good to have to have a daily target so once you hit your daily target you go out of the market and you can see opportunities like this more than 10 times a day more than 10 times a day more than 10 times a day you can see opportunities like this so as you can see this this, this entry here is invalid this entry is invalid why because the market is still above the 200 EMA. The market is above it. Our 200 EMA is below the market, so it, it means the bulls are in control. So we are not taking this signal here. We wait for the market to go below the 200 EMA, then we look for an entry like this. This is a perfect entry. Sorry for that. This is a perfect entry. And then we count our 7 to 10 candles. Alright, let me check. Boom, 1000. I don't want this video to be long. Let me check boom 1000 and see. Um, boom 500 and see. Okay. I'm just gonna save this template. Uh, I myself, I like to use this strategy on, I like to use the strategy on, on the 1,000 pairs. I enjoy trading them on the 1,000 pairs, which are across 1,000 and 1,000, because they give long, long ticks. They give long ticks, actually. 
all right so this is boom 500 now this is boom 500 so we're going to be looking out for the same thing once the market is below the 200 EMA, we look for crossovers of the 50 and the 9 EMA. Then we stop five candles because this is boom 500. It's copying just five candles. All right. So this is it. This is an entry here. Um, as you can see, the market is below below the 200 EMA. 200 EMA is above the price. Then we have a crossover over here. Then this is our this is our crossover. Then we cop. Scalp five candles, which is three, four, three, four, five. Yeah, and then we are out. Look out for um. You see this here now. This is not a perfect crossover. This is not a perfect crossover. So, in times like this, you just let the market go. You don't force it out. You just let the market go because this is not a perfect crossover. You're looking out for perfect crossovers like this one over here, like this one, or something like this. You can see this. Yes, yeah, this is a perfect crossover here. This over here. So, so our entry will be here. Our entry will be somewhere here, and then we scalp how many candles? Five. Just yeah, before the next support level, then we're out. This over here is not a perfect crossover. Is not perfect crossover, so we don't skip that. Let's look for another entry. Perfect, so this is another entry over here. This is another entry. So we enter here, we scalp how many candles? Five. Five, and then we are out. So when you want to trade this using boom 500, and then you use five. Dot size that's five dollar dot size that's five point zero zero and then you take five candles that means um each candle is gonna give you five dollars each candle is gonna give you five dollar for for boom five hundred so that means uh five dollar time is five candles that's gonna give you twenty five dollars so you use five dollar dot size, you count five candles, you get twenty five dollars per position. That is amazing. So when you do this five times a day, so that becomes twenty five times five. Let's check how much you're gonna be getting. That means you just take five trades a day. Oh my god, you're gonna get one hundred and twenty five dollars. Is that not amazing? Of course it is. This strategy is working. It's working ninety percent, ninety percent, and the ten percent is the market manipulation yeah i have traders that are already using the strategy they are already sending me testimonies even someone who hasn't withdrawn before from the right started using the strategy and then he is already asking me how the right processes their withdrawal i don't know i'm using and i asked him if this is his first withdrawal and he said yes and he used my strategy he makes some money and he wanted to withdraw it i know how it feels <laughs> to enjoy some money all right, so this is it. Oh, sorry for that. Um, so this is how this is how the strategy works. It's easy, no much stress, no lots of indicators on your chart. You just wait for the market to go below the EME for boom 500 and boom 1000. Then you look for crossovers and you scalp 10 candles for the 1000 pairs and five candles for the 500 pairs. Then you wait for the market to also go above the EME, the 200 EME for crash 500 and crash 1000. Then you scalp 10 candles for crash 1000 and you scalp 5 candles for crash 500. Alright guys, so I think I'm done with with this. In case you have any question to ask, these are my details. You can chat me up. I still remain Wesley at Your favorite trader, you can plug on me. Don't forget to join my my telegram channel i post free signals tutorials and things that will help you as a beginner or open as a trader things that will help you do post free indicators and all that so try out this strategy start me up if you need anything don't forget to send me your results when you start um, making profit with the strategy also you need to practice on demo get used to it 
know how the strategy works better. You can use this strategy to scale. I think I'm going to do that in the next video. So, be blessed. Just be signing out.